Hello friends, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new or if you like my videos and you have not subscribed yet, I ask that you would hit the subscribe button down below in the little bell next to it so you'll be notified when there are new videos. It is free. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. So today it's a sewing themed video. I have two journals that I've made and then I want to update you on my stitch in time ephemera pack. So I have a blue and a pink themed sewing journal. This one um, is already paid for and spoken for. This goes to Gail. And then this one will be in my shop and is available. So if if you're familiar with my shop, one of my best selling items is the Stitch in Time Ephemera Pack. It comes five pages printed on 110 pound ivory cardstock, 40 images. Well, I wanted to update it to 45 images because that's usually what my typical ephemera packs are. If it doesn't have 45 images, it doesn't print. Um, there's a big blank space where there's nothing. So I added five new images and updated that listing. Here's two of the new images. Look at how cute those are. Standard Sewing Machine Company, Cleveland, Ohio, white, black, and colors for hand and machine. And these are just come with this journal tucked here in the front and you can use them for whatever, but there's also three other new ones. And I've also now ad added it as a digital download. And it's only $2.99 for the digital download. Print it on as many times as you want, and as many papers as you want, and as many journals as you want to sell. So check that out in my shop. So um, let's go through Gail's first. And then if you're interested in purchasing this one, just hang on and I'll go through it in just a minute. So this was a custom order for Gail. And just a comment, I have removed the custom order listing in my shop. If anybody is interested in a custom order, you'll have to message me and talk about it. That way, um, it'll just work better for me that way and probably for you too, because then you get what you actually want if I have availability. Anyway, so I took some cardstock that I bought from Tuesday morning and it was textured, really, really lovely textured. And then I decided to collage a whole bunch of fabric scraps on. And I was inspired by some YouTube videos I watched. I can't even remember exactly who it was. And then definitely Joanne Hall from Junk Journal Treasures. Check out her channel. Her link is below. But she does a lot of paper collaging. And so I was inspired and wanted to do fabric collaging. So there's a whole bunch of different pieces here. I just took them from my little scrap uh, drawer that I keep near my work desk. There's one signature, 60 pages. And then all of these are um, tacked down with glue and then stitched all around. I've left all the strings and all of that. You can clip them off if you want. But since it's a sewing journal, I thought that was really neat. There's like a white satiny ribbon that's holding it closed. And I didn't want to put anything on the cover because it's just so beautiful. These are um, eight and a half by five and a half texture cardstock on the back. I also left all of this stitching so you could see it. I just thought it looked really neat. So I had a whole bunch of sewing ephemera and scraps and papers left over from the sewing journals I did several months ago. So I don't even remember exactly what shops these came from. Um, I just had some stuff left over. Um, so here's like a vintage button card scan. And then Joanne Hall made this and I just did some stitching around this beautiful peacock and stuck it in there. We have some scrapbook paper that I've done some stitching. These are from a vintage patchwork book. I've also used pages from Seneca Pond Crafts, her retro vintage sewing kit, which I'm in love with. I've used some of it before, but I love the colors. I love the collages. And so I have added that in here as well. I also have a stamp that looks like zigzag stitching. So I've done some of that on the coffee dyed paper. One of the tags from Seneca Pond. I put in these bags from Above Par Crafts. Definitely check out her link below and there's a coupon code if you follow my channel. If you watch my videos, um, she offers you 15% off. So take advantage of that. And then just a little collage from a magazine on cross stitch. And then in here, there's a few pieces of ephemera. These are not mine. They're from, they might be from Stacy Belts. I don't really remember. Um, they were, like I said, they were left over. And here's a little fabric pocket I made. And then here's a little pearl pin. But what I did so nobody would get poked is I glued this handmade with love button over it so you're not getting poked by it. It's also not coming out. And then, oh, and my pocket's coming up a little bit. So I'm gonna glue that down because I will forget if I don't do it right this minute. So this was just a scrap from my scrap um, drawer of fabric. So I'm trying to use up the scraps because they are multiplying and I love fabric in journals. And so here's a little best English needles. This is from my ephemera pack stitch in time. 
And then I also used some pages from Paulette, TLC Creates Vintage, and she has a sewing kit, and so I used a couple of hers. A little tuck spot, a little bag, it flips down. You can hide something under it, you can stick stuff in it. And I added this JMP Coats Needle and Thread number chart. Um, I have a stencil that's also zigzags. So I have been loving the Tim Holtz Antique Linen Oxide. It, it's just perfect for my journals. I love the color. It's like a creamy brown. It's not so dark. I love it. I got it on sale at Hobby Lobby for $1.49 with a big pad, and I've been using it like crazy. An embroidery book page, and then a paper ribbon with a little wooden iron button on there. One of my pieces of ephemera, some Tim Holtz vintage washi. I had to add these pages into the sewing book because they're vintage 1950s uh, reproduction fabric. It's a book. I bought it at a used bookstore and I paid $15 for it. I never do that. Too expensive. But it was all of these like feeds, not really feed sack, I guess, feed sack slash just fabrics from the, like the 1950s and stuff like that. Maybe even earlier. But I was like, I'm just going to use it like a paper pad. And that's what I've been doing. There's a little tab. A little tuck spot. This is from TLC Creates Vintage. And then I backed it with some Seneca Pond Craft background paper. Little bridge score pad. A little tag. Collaging. I just added some floral. Some stitching. This is Seneca Pond. Love her pages. And then I clipped on one of her little, it's almost like a seed packet, but since it's for crafts, I'm calling it like a button packet, I guess. And I did put in a couple of buttons that you can use in the journal. And then this is a book page. It was very, very fragile, very vintage. It started pulling out of the middle. And so I reinforced it here and here with that Tim Holtz washi tape. And so it should be pretty secure now. Uh, silver Anniversary dress, Domestic Sewing Machine. These are pages from a book. I might, just scraps I had left over. I'm not sure exactly where they're from. I stitched it, glued it down. Here's some fabric. Here's a lace flip, but instead of sewing it, I use the washi tape, so you can just take it right off, use it wherever you want. Here's a little collage, and these tags are from Seneca Pond. I added an eyelet. And then here's a little flip. And I stitched on some Seneca Pond background so you can um, journal more of that uh, vintage fabric book, a big sewing stamp. This is a big envelope as well. There's nothing in it, but you can slip things in it. That's, um, I believe that's Seneca Pond. Might, might not be. Like I said, when you have a bag full of scraps, it's hard to remember. Make this journey of your own. That's a Tim Holtz. Here's a Seneca Pond tag. TLC Creates Vintage. This is from my ephemera pack and then in here I took some black cardstock stitched on some fabric to make a journal card these um I think these are Seneca Pond I just glued just the tip so you can journal under them I took some felt made a little corner pocket this is a little piece of a magazine a vintage magazine and then another little um, ephemera piece from I don't know one of the kits I purchased I try to collect sewing themed uh, kits and things like that. And normally when I do new sewing journals, I um, buy a new kit. I did not this time because I'm trying to use up scraps and I had plenty of scraps for these two without even having to print much. So I just decided to hold off until next time for purchasing more sewing items. I had more than I needed. So here is the one in my shop for sale. Very similar to the blue one, 60 pages, pretty much the same construction. Um, these can be put anywhere, I'm just including that. So here's what the pink cover looks like. And I asked Gail if she wanted pink or blue, and she said blue, so here's the pink one. Really pretty, look at all those fabrics. Little bits and pieces, really, really pretty. So let's go through this. So in the front, there's a fabric pocket, and then these are Seneca Pond. Any day spent in sewing is a good day. And then this is a little, um, I offered these as a freebie on my Facebook group months ago. So I don't know, I guess maybe if you searched uh, the group, if you click the link below, maybe you can still find them. I just had this scrap left. 
Um, not even sure where the original file is since I've moved to a new computer. I'd have to hunt it down. So we have Seneca Pond and TLC Creates Vintage. This is from my Stitch in Time Ephemera pack. I stapled that on there. We have some washi tape, some stamping. This is Tsunami Rose Charming Fragments. And then I'm not sure this background. I don't remember. I already had this printed. This is also from my ephemera pack, Easy Steps and Sewing for Big and Little Girls. And then I pinned on this beaded safety pin and my mother-in-law made that for me. She um, loves beading and jewelry making and so I asked her to make a bunch of these for me and she'll do that from time to time. So I've done stenciling. Some ephemera. This is from my ephemera pack. Some fabric and stitch that on. Stenciling. This is a vintage from like a vintage ribbon spool and I added that as a tuck spot. <laughs> my boys are making, it seems Saturday, they're always louder. Uh, this is from a vintage book and then one of my ephemera pieces, vintage book pages. It is happy noise in the background, just so you know. Made a little pocket here. This little crocheted flower I got from Sherry Sawyer. It, you, if you guys follow my marketplace, you all know and love her. Her journals sell like hotcakes. She sent me some goodies in the newest box of journals. And there's this little cute flower. I added a button on it. I knew it was perfect for this journal. Some fabric. This is from Seneca Pond. And then this is from Above Par Crafts. It's a little time card. I made a pocket here. So you could stick in, you know, ephemera if you wanted to. There's a little wallpaper label on there. This is Seneca Pond. That's my ephemera pack. And then in here is a Seneca Pond, just a little piece of one of the papers that you could use for collage or photos. Some stamping and then a little wooden handmade with love button. We have stenciling, little pieces of ephemera lace. These are from my ephemera kit here. And then this is a paint chip card and I loved Elegant Ivory Cream as the color on top here. So I sewed it onto some fabric. That's from my ephemera pack. Here's Seneca Pond, housework only comes before sewing in the dictionary, I love that. Another little pocket, more little ephemera from my kit. A little Tim Holtz doll, so here's a tuck spot. And this was from Lisa's Altered Art on Etsy. Super cute, reminds me of like Tim Holtz, but they're like sewing themed. And then this is just some Seneca Pond ledger paper that I turned into like a little double-sided journaling card. This is from a, a vintage book, As You Sew. Little yellow button, Seneca Pond tag. Another one of these little um, button packets. And there's some buttons in here get this. Oh, what page did I have that on? It's hard to remember sometimes. Charming fragments, little pieces of, oh, somehow glued this on here. Ugh. There we go. This is from a vintage book. It says cutting and it's about cutting out fabrics and stuff like that. This is TLC Creates Vintage. It's stapled on here with some fabric so you can flip it up and you have a whole bunch of Seneca Pond grid and ledger paper you can journal on. Um, TLC and Seneca Pond. So I hope that you enjoyed what I came up with. I loved making these, so much fun. Um, this one is in my shop under the section junk journals. And um, I hope that it will find a wonderful home. So I'm going to see you all in the next video. I hope the next video will be a marketplace video. I have one, two, three, four, five boxes of journals. Um, obviously, I'm not going to do all of them in one video or it would be a two hour long video. But I am really excited to share with you some more journals by some more wonderful artists here in the marketplace. I need to go now and get my house clean before I run to, it's going to either be Hobby Lobby or Tuesday morning, probably this afternoon. I am meeting one of you, one of my subscribers it has some crafty goodies for me and she doesn't live too terribly far away from me. So I'm super excited for that meeting. I'll see all of you in the next video.